Hello, this is At Home with Miss Joan. Well, I've been cooking supper today, and uh, I, I thought, well, when my camera lady gets here, the last thing that I'm going to make is malt broccoli rice casserole. I'll see if she can film it for me. I still hadn't figured out how to film and cook at the same time all by myself. But anyway, you can see right here today what I've already made for a preacher is this is called Aussie Chicken. And uh, we've got a pot of butter beans that I've been cooking in the crock pot today. Oh, that's my favorite. That's the big one. His favorite. So, I was going to make a malt broccoli and rice casserole. Let me show the little bit of it. Uh, my daughter Jordan and I, we made this recipe up because it's uh, what we call a low carb recipe. Uh, we love the rice and broccoli casserole, but rice has uh, 45 grams of carbohydrates in one cup, and I put two cups of rice in there, that's 90 grams. If you put two cups of what we call riced cauliflower in there, then you only got uh, five carbs, and if you take out what they call the net carbs, you only have three. There's a big difference in five or three uh, grams of carbohydrates and 90. So I thought, well, I'll just show y'all what my last dish is that we're going to have for supper today. So uh, what I do is I just, I rice my cauliflower. And what I, that means is you chop off the cauliflower and the workforce of my kitchen is this KitchenAid food processor here. Now I've already riced some off so it saved time on the camera, but I was just gonna show you how easy it is to just cut your own because it is higher in the grocery store. Now this is gonna make a loud racket, so I'll talk just a little bit louder. But, uh, see, there you go. See there? It's just like rice, don't it? I could go another round or two. But anyway, I've already <clears throat> done it, but I just want to show you how quick it is to buy your own head of cauliflower and just make it yourself. And what I'll do now is I'll pour this in here and uh, I'll freeze it. The next time I need some rice cauliflower, well, it'll be, I'll just pull it out of the freezer. Here we go. And then at Walmart, I ordered four little, what I thought was four little crowns of broccoli, and I got four big ones so preachers eating broccoli we've already had broccoli salad and now we're gonna have this broccoli casserole but you can just use these frozen ones too but uh, anyway i just chopped these up you can see just on my cutting board here just no rhyme or reason just chopped them up all right what i've already done to help us today is plus preacher's gonna be hungry when he gets here off that bus i usually have supper ready <clears throat> What I do is I cut that broccoli off, as you saw, and I put it in here first, and I put it in the microwave under this plastic wrap for five minutes because it takes longer to me to get the broccoli soft as it does the, the cauliflower rice. And then I added my rice cauliflower and gave it four, five more minutes. So the broccoli in total got 10 minutes, and the rice cauliflower got five. And then all I done was I took some garlic salt, out of my spice cabinet, which I keep real close to the uh, stove, y'all know that. And I sprinkled, oh, about a teaspoon on top of this, stirred it up right there at the end of the microwave. Now, I'm going to let you watch me do the sauce. I'm going to spray my pan. And uh, it tells here, now, we just kind of, sometimes we put the right measurements, and sometimes we just put ingredients, because I just kind of eyeball everything. But I'm going to start out with some heavy whipping cream in here. I think I told y'all in my Get, Get Organized Kitchen uh, video that I keep my some big spoons on both sides of the stove so I can grab them real quick. But here is heavy whipping cream, and I may have to add some more. We'll see. I'm just going down by heavy whipping cream and, oh, about a half a stick of melted butter. Put that in there. And to be honest, normally I would stuff that thing up there in the microwave and melt it that in just a second. And uh, let's see what else I'm going to put in here. I'm going to add my cheeses when this starts kind of getting thick. If you work with heavy whipping cream, you know that it don't take it long to make whatever you're making, whether it's Alfredo sauce or whatever. Like I said, I'm just going to eyeball it. If I don't think it's enough sauce to pour over my broccoli and mock rice, which is really rice cauliflower, then we'll just make a little more sauce. It's no problem. It's real easy to do. We're 
can see I'm kind of melting the butter here a little bit with my spatula. Okay. Letting that get going good. And I can already tell I wish I had a little more sauce. We like a lot of sauce around here. Um, see that's bubbling? Okay, I'm going to add about another half a cup to that. Now, right now, all I got in here is uh, heavy whipping cream and uh, melted butter. Now, I'm going to start adding some cheese. Now, in my refrigerator, I keep a cheese bucket. All my cheeses stay in here. You see, I got them all in here. And I'm going to start out by putting some sharp cheddar in this. I'm going to turn my heat down just a little bit. And uh, I guess I can get a cup here. I don't usually measure this cheese, but we'll see how much we're going to put in it. How about that right there? So we're in a cup of cheese. I'm going to start stirring that around. I told you the other day in my organizer, I keep my cups real handy right here. All right, watch. Here, look down in this. See how it's looking? Now, I put uh, this kind of cheese right here, which to me, this is what I've got today, extra sharp. And to be honest, I put pretty well whatever I got, but as long as it's the yellow cheese, just so it looks real cheesy. And then I'm going to use Parmesan. Well, I already see that right here is my Parmesan. And, oh, uh, whole Parmesan makes it so good. Let's see. Right there. Let's just throw in a half a cup of Parmesan. If you don't have this type of Parmesan, this right here works just as good. I've always got this in my backup pantry right here. Oh, look how that's creaming out there. Y'all see it? Look at that. It's a great, great cheese sauce. Now, cheese don't have any carbs in it. <laughs> and uh, other things I'm going to put in here, too, is two heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise. Because, you know, your regular uh, broccoli and rice um, casserole, it has these cream soups and all that. But I've learned if you put about two tablespoons of mayonnaise in there, it gives it a little flavor. Oh, there it goes. Here it is at the bottom. So, right, you see, I riced my cauliflower. I did all of this cooking in the microwave. Plus, I'm making a fresh sauce here in a matter of minutes. Now, I'm going to taste this. See what I think about it. It's cheesy. Look at it. It's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's real, real yellow. That right there is good, good, good. We'll see. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. It's perfect. Now, I can do two things right here. I can put my oven on about 350, and I can pour the sauce over the riced uh, cauliflower and uh, broccoli. Which one you want me to do, camera lady? You want me to dump it in here in the skillet? Put it over that. Huh? Put it over it. Pour it over here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, she and I have two different theories here. I just pour the vegetables in here, and then I put the glass lid on top of it. And it's just steam a little bit, and it's just as good as if it was in the oven. You said put it the other way? All right. I guess because y'all are used to baking it in the oven. Watch, here it goes. I'm left-handed, so I hold everything backwards for filming. Look at here. Yum, yum. I believe Preacher's going to like this, don't y'all? I'm telling you, I've about worked that boy deck today. He built me some new shelves, put some of my canning stuff on. Mm. Watch here. Look at here. See, I'm just stirring it up. I hope that look good. Now, you tell me that don't taste as good as real rice in there. I'm telling you. And if it's, uh, <clears throat> you can put your own salt to taste. But see, I put garlic salt. You heard, heard me say that earlier. So it should be salty enough. But look at that. Now, here you go. Now, to me, that's ready to eat. Or you can sprinkle some more cheese on the top and put it in the oven and let it bake a little. You know, just enough to melt the cheese. There you have it. Like I said, one day, maybe I'll show you how to make this Aussie chicken. It's a low-carb dish. And, of course, my favorite food in the whole world, butter beans. So, that is preacher supper for tonight. I have loved talking to y'all today. And this is my first cooking video. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to my channel and like it. And uh, I'm going to enjoy getting to know everybody better. And I usually at 4 o'clock, I have supper ready when he comes in the door off of that bus route. And it is uh, 20 minutes till 4, so I'm right on target. Thank y'all so very much. This is At Home with Miss Jaw.